So they've launched Google Mum, uh, a new language model, and I, I seriously, Google is not good at naming stuff, but this is, yeah. So Mum's a thousand times more powerful than Bert. Yep. Also and unhelpful. <laughs> I, 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 this doesn't mean anything to me, and um, I can understand it if it doesn't un un mean anything to a whole lot of people, because Bert in itself is already quite a hard and complex thing to grasp. I mean, it, it was a model of how they understand language and then they under, they try to understand language more in context of where the words are used, et cetera. I mean, we have a team of linguists working at Yoast here on this stuff and they sort of understand Bert. I, because of talking to them sometimes and, and, and talking to other people, I, I, I have a vague, well, vague understanding of what that means. But what does that times a thousand mean? Yeah, I have yeah, no it's, clue. It's not helpful, is it? I guess I think the important takeaway is: once upon a time, Google just looked at keywords, and then they evolved to look at phrases, and then they evolved to look at context, which is where Bert comes in. That it's not just the things words; it's the relationship with the other words and the, all of that stuff. And now, where Mum takes it is in two two additional things. One is multimedia. So what's the relationship between the words and the pictures and the video? And how do we understand that? And then also multilingual. How do we do that across all these languages? And they can take all that context and say, okay, you've searched for running shoes. And we don't just try and rank the best page that has those words on it. We really try and comprehend all of the content across all of the languages in all of the formats and find out what the best solution is for you. Which again, I, I, it's the same takeaway you can't just try and rank and compete for that last keyword. You have to solve user problems way up the funnel, help them research, answer their questions, provide advice, provide interesting opinions, and do much more than just put words on a web page. You want to be curating and architecting useful content experiences, which is a big ask, but that's what Google are trying to consume and understand. Yeah, the, the whole multilingual aspect of this had me baffled a bit as well, because honestly, in not a whole lot of countries in the world would a result in another language than the language that you're searching in be a good result. Yeah. I mean, in the Netherlands, you could probably get away with an English result um, if someone is searching in Dutch to a certain extent, because most people in the Netherlands do actually speak English. Um, but in most countries in the world, I mean, if we gave Americans Spanish results, <laughs> the world would just be too small. So uh, it, it I, I don't see how that really helps. The only thing I do see is that they could maybe auto translate a whole lot of that stuff in in results, etc. And I see that happening. Um, but yeah, all of this seems to be mostly about multimodal so different yeah. ways of doing things and combining all these things together and i i i sort of understand why they need it and i also understand why they need because they, they did spend a whole lot of time in the io keynote talking about processing power i understand why you need tons and tons and tons of processing power to use all of this I'm just looking and waiting for real world applications, I think. Yeah. And in the announcement blog post, there's a little paragraph at the bottom that essentially says this is a work in progress. And um, we're currently looking at ways to reduce carbon emissions from the overheads of powering this. So this is this is a trial and it's not cheap or, or simple to run. So we'll see where it goes. Um, Many people in the comments they are saying many people in America actually do speak Spanish. I know, but the funny thing is, you know what happens when uh, uh, when you present stuff in Spanish to uh, to people? A certain group in America can deal with that quite well, and then a large group of people can deal with that not at all. So yeah, that's the, exactly what I meant. 